Well, I think the distribution of information has changed so radically over the last couple hundred years, and particularly over the last 20, that you're seeing these trends now where more people are inclined to abandon uh, a lot of the, even if you remain religious or remain, you, you keep a, a, a thought or a belief in a higher power, People are more inclined to entertain these concepts of science and to take in the understanding of what has been observed and documented and, yeah. and written about among scholars and academics. And there's more, there's more people accepting that. If you look yeah. at the number of agnostic people now as opposed to 20, 30 years ago, it's, it's, it's rising, it's changing. And I think there's also, because of you and because of Neil deGrasse Tyson and you know, Sean Carroll and all these other people that are public intellectuals that are discussing this kind of stuff. People like myself have a far greater understanding of this than I think people did 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. And that trend is continuing, I think, in a very good direction. Yeah. I mean, I don't, you know, what, what we should say is that science, we don't know all the answers. So we don't know where the laws of nature came from. We don't know why the universe began in the way that it did, uh, if indeed it had a beginning. So we don't know why the Big Bang was very, very highly ordered, which is ultimately, as, as Sean Carroll actually, you mentioned him, often points out, and he's right, that the, the whole difference, the only difference between the past and the future, the so-called arrow of time, is that in the past, the universe was really ordered and it's getting more disordered. And that's that, that, that necessary state of, of, of order at the start of the universe, which is really the reason that we exist. That's the reason, because the universe began in a particular form. We don't know why that was. So we, we, we will probably find out at some point, and it'll be something to do with the laws of nature. But So I, I'm always careful. I don't want to... Science can sometimes sound arrogant, right? It can sometimes sound like it's the... It's the discipline of saying to people, well, you're not right. Yes, you know? yes. And it's not the discipline of saying you're not right. It's saying this is what we found out. 